I'm Nicole Gomez and this is your morning update for August 20th. Two men were killed when their car crashed into a tree in Rancho Bernardo overnight. This happened just before one o'clock this morning on Bernardo Heights Parkway. The two men were the only ones in the car. They were rescued, but they died at the hospital. It's not clear what led to the crash. A man was shot while driving for DoorDash last night in Linda Vista. He had just picked up food at McDonald's. After being shot, he crashed into a stoplight at Linda Vista Road and Ulrich Street. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. There were 1,400 new cases reported here in San Diego County yesterday. But it's not only the cases that are rising right now. Yesterday, there were also five new deaths reported in the county and 104 more people hospitalized with COVID. Event venues across California have exactly one month before they have to start enforcing the state's new vaccine requirement at events with more than a thousand people. But one venue here in San Diego plans to start enforcing those new rules today. The Music Box downtown says they're going to follow the state mandate to keep people safe. The leaders there have declined to talk to NBC7 about their decision. The Coast Guard and other local leaders will be unveiling the newly improved Point Loma Lighthouse today. The light has played an important role in San Diego's history. It was first lit in 1891 and used as the Coast Guard's navigational aid. For the last three years, Coast Guard members have been refurbishing the lighthouse, giving it a $2 million upgrade. The celebration will be held at Cabrillo National Park. Construction begins today on phase one of the city's pure water program. The system will eventually convert wastewater into drinkable water. It's expected to produce 30 million gallons of water per day. The city says the program will provide more than 40 percent of San Diego's drinking water by 2035. It recently received 50 million dollars in funding from the state budget. It's a big day for the new Children's Museum. In addition to their main location downtown, they're opening up a satellite location in Del Mar. It's a mini version of the downtown location and an opportunity for kids to get to play and explore and most of all use their creativity. It features its own version of Wobble Land. There's a giant chalkboard in the shape of a wave, all kinds of fun activities. We'll continue to bring you the latest right here on NBC7.com and on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast, Today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines and those affecting our community. Stay safe and have a great day.